Hello and welcome to City Skylines with me, Biffa, where I fix your cities. Yes, that's right. You send me your city, upload it to the Steam Workshop, send me the link, and I will attempt to fix what you ask me to fix. Not just traffic, but anything in your city that you are having problems with, let me see if I can help you. So before we dive into this, I do want to give a shout out to Sam Burr. He has a City Skylines YouTube channel. I will link that below. And it was his City Skyline fixing uh, series where he dives into many different traffic problems. That seems to be what he focuses on. Um, that uh, inspired me to start this series as well. But we won't be focusing just on traffic. We will be looking at... It might be parks, it might be mass transit, it might be industries that you're having problems with. Let me know and I will see what I can do. So yeah, as I said, upload your save to the Steam Workshop. Send me the link either in a comment on a video or on Twitter, which is Biffa2001. And uh, yeah, we will see where we can go. So this is the first one. Tyler sent me this city. He is ifan384 on Twitter. And there's three things he's asked me to do. Two of them are a fix and one of them is a build. So we're going to do the first two. And the third one, I might just give a bit of advice on that. So traffic flow, especially around the tunnels, is the first one. And the second one is looking at the metro. So if we take a look at the traffic flow, first of all, 69%. So not terrible, not terrible. Um, and as you sort of go over the city, you'll see that most of the city is green. There are a few little red spots. So we do have some traffic issues. Normally, what, what red means is, is that road is used a lot. It doesn't necessarily mean there is a traffic problem. So like this one here, this junction is well used, but, you know, traffic isn't really backing up too much. But as you go around the city and you spot, there's, I mean, this, this is a little thing that could possibly be fixed. There isn't too much traffic until you look closely at the tunnels under the ground. And this is where we start getting issues. So if you have a look at these dark lines here, we've got huge underground road tunnels. Now, lots of people ask me to do these in my city. They say, just run a road from one end to the other underground in a tunnel. Personally, I don't find it realistic. I go for more realism in my city, but it's a sandbox game. So, you know, play how you like. Of course, that's what you want to do. And there's one particular tunnel. I mean, there's loads. Uh, one particular tunnel. Uh, let me see if I can find it again. That has a lot of backing up traffic. This, look at this. This one here has got traffic backing up. It's got one, two, three, four tunnels coming in from various directions. And... This traffic at meter here doesn't show. And you can see what's happening. They're all merging into this area here. They're all merging together. So lots of these want to merge down to a couple of lanes and then head out. Now, you can use a traffic manager to fix things like that. So if you open traffic manager, first of all, say we're going to use the lane connector, then go to the traffic tab and that will open up and then you can click on this. You can do what you want to do. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this case. This is one of those cases where I genuinely think a roundabout would do much, much better uh, without all the roads going underground. So let us just take a look at this first of all. I'm going to find out what that road is there by using electrics mods. Yes, there we go. So we get the road that you're using underneath here. And I'm just going to pop it down there so we don't lose it. By the way, this is how the game came to me. The bank balance was like this. Population was like this. And and you are playing with infinite fun. What I would like to do is have some of these roads come above ground, which is going to be a bit difficult because we've got lots of tunnels and things going on here. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to remove this tunnel that goes down here. Yep, there we go. I want to leave that section there so we know where to connect to. And that one there, that's fine. And then I want these roads to go above ground. So I'm going to delete those. Delete that. Uh, delete that. We're going to struggle with trying to fit all of these in, but we will do what we can. Okay, the roundabout is in. I've had to sort of wiggle the roads a little bit to get them to jo join up straight onto this roundabout. And after a while, that should kick in okay. So what you want to do is also make sure that you remove any traffic lights that have been put in. Um, so that's removed from there. That's fine. Uh, we also want to put in the priority sign so people coming on need to give way. There we go. 
And there we go. And there we go. I don't know whether we'll need to do the lane connectors as well. I've done it on a couple of them. So we've only got one lane going off. So if we connect that up to there. And then this one I'll just say to go to the next outside. I've done that one. I've done that one's working okay. This one here has got two lanes going off. So we'll do the same there. We'll say one lane for going off. There we go. And that lane. So it doesn't cross over like you see that car doing. That lane can just be for straight over. Now, the game is running at full speed. But because there is 145,000 population here, things are going slowly. There's one other thing we can do is the junction lane restrictions. We want to say that's fine. If the lane is busy, uh, you can still go into it if it's your right of way. So we'll do that. We'll do that. And we'll do it here, that one there, that one there, and finally this one here, that one there, and that one there. There we go, so if we let this run for a while, we should see that the traffic uh, shouldn't build up as much. Let's just take a look at the underground view. So we've got all this traffic here yet that's got to run through the system, but once that gets going, it's red, remember, because it's busy, and then we'll, we'll come back to that and see how that's going afterwards. Oh, and I've got to remember to connect up this uh, metro here as well another thing that's worth doing which will help with traffic build up is like this sort of thing here you've got a very sharp not 90 degrees but very sharp turn so if for instance we remove both of those pieces and then we grab that eight lane road that we're using here there we go go back underground and then we can connect those two up at more of a nice angle like that and it means cars will have to slow down less to get around the corner. So if you watch this little truck that's coming along here, there we go. That's going <laughs> to avoid that one, but it doesn't have to slow down to get around the corner. So that is definitely going to help if you were able to do that on any other sharp corners you've got. Maybe like this one here. Here's another good example. Wow, that is going up a steep hill. That is also a one-way tunnel that's going all the way across, oh my goodness me, to another huge bend, which is going to slow down the traffic a lot. Let us delete that and that. In fact, we could probably delete all of that. We're going to use this mod to grab that road. There we go. Let's go like that. Just turn that into a... Yeah, there we go. Turn that into a slightly smoother curve to help everybody get onto this highway up here. And I'm also going to do the same here for this, this hill climb that you've got. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing for this spot here. Let's bring that up and curve that around. And that's uh, a much smoother turn for coming up there. This one here, I think you seem to have a problem with the, a road connection. There we go. And that piece of road that was underwater there where the cars couldn't get through, I've just deleted and replaced that for you. And that started to move a lot smoother as well. Now, another spot here where you've got a lot of traffic building up behind this roundabout. It's, it's, it's backing up down to this road here. I mean, it's not a bad roundabout, actually. It's okay. Uh, you've got four lanes on here, two lanes going off. You've got that same issue there where you've got two lanes that are going off and you've got... Let's have a look. Have you got any traffic lights anywhere? You've got people stopping and slowing down. So this could be an easy fix here. If we take this one here and say to people, yep, yeah, that's fine. If you want to go straight into the junction, if you're able to, you don't have to slow down. We'll do the same for each of these coming onto the roundabouts. There we go. And we'll do the same here as well. And then we also want to put the priorities on the roundabout. So those coming onto the roundabout have to give way. And those on the roundabout, of course, have priority over cars coming on. There we go. So that should keep that running smoothly. You, again, could put some lane connectors on there to say only have one lane going off. But that, you'll probably find that will move quite nicely and traffic will disappear very quickly. And the last thing you want to do is using the traffic's route option built into vanilla city skylines is go to junction just remove any stop signs that you've got here because we've already set up give way options for those and that will just help things to move along a lot smoother there we go and just a couple of minutes later you'll notice all the roads leaning onto the roundabout barely any traffic building up on those as well i've just realized this is a road going to nowhere but that's fine 
hardly any traffic on there, which is fantastic. So let's pick one more traffic hotspot, and then we're going to take a look at your metro. Well, you know what? I'm looking around the city, and I've just noticed average traffic flow 100%. How about that? And if we go back to this island that we made at the beginning, even though it was very small, look at all the roads leading onto it. There is barely any traffic at all, which has solved one of the other problems that you mentioned, which was traffic where your tunnels come out. Um, because where they're coming onto the main road, the traffic was building up before, and that was causing a build-up of traffic as well. Um, but 100% traffic... I think our job is done with that one. That is absolutely excellent. So the other issue that you mentioned that you'd like me to take a look at is your metro. So if we just jump into the transportation, what I'm going to do is turn off all the other transportation that shows up on the map, but just leave the metro lines showing up. So you've only got buses and metro. Your buses are actually very well used. You've got lots of buses going around, but because the traffic flow is so good, it's not causing any issues. Lots of passengers using the buses that is great let's take a look at the metro lines again lots of passengers using them lots and lots of vehicles though uh, going through these and if we have a look at our metro tunnels yeah if we actually turn off uh, let's turn off the lines there we go. This will give us a good view of what is happening in our tunnel. So let's find a metro tunnel that's maybe causing some issues. So again, you've got lots of very sharp corners, which will slow down your trains. But what's causing more of a problem is backups like this. You've got backup, backup, backup. You've got junctions where there's a backup. And this backup goes all the way down here, all the way to the end. And I think there's another place as well which has got a huge backup of metros. Here we go, up here. So back up, back up, back up, back up. They're backing up, they're backing up, and they're all stopping off over here. So, for instance, let's take a look. I mean, things like this... I mean, I can see what you're trying to do. You've got your metro running absolutely all over the place. And I don't want to sort of rebuild your entire metro. But the main issue is, is you've got so many lines... Let's just take this spot here. You've got green line, blue line, sort of orangey pink line, another yeah, green and blue, yellow line, orange line, all coming through this one spot here. So that is really, let's just have a look here. Yeah, orange is coming through here. We've got this blue down here coming through here. We've got this sort of ready one coming through here, this green one coming through here, the yellow one coming through here. Yeah, all of the lines, bar this blue one, come through this one station down here. So that is where your problem lies. You've got too many lines that just cover too many places. So if I was having a look at your metro, I don't want to just delete all of your lines because I don't know where all your metro stations are, but I'm going to give you an idea. I would, for instance, yeah, let's just take this outside line. So you've got this outside line. It runs along here. It runs down the outside here. It runs along here. It sort of cuts down here, goes along the back, goes all the way along here, around the outside. I'm taking the outside route and sort of comes back around to here. What I would do is have two lines going around there, one clockwise, one anti-clockwise, and I would not let any other metro lines go on those at all and just keep that keep those lines moving and then spots like this where you've got for instance these sort of where you've got all your lines meeting so you just sort of plonk them together i would then have little branch lines coming off so for instance this one here branch come down maybe with another two or three connected to a station in the middle and then going back again something along those lines but you want to keep your main outside line flowing freely that would be really helpful just looking at your traffic again uh, you've got a little situation like this where you've got a very, very sharp turn which is slowing down your cars. Uh, nobody's business. Let's grab that road there. What I would do is I would delete, say, that corner and that corner there. And I would use the curved road tool and just try and sort of help that go around the corner a little bit smoother. Just to stop the cars slowing down so much. And when they all kick in and decide where they're going to go, that would work a lot better. And then I would just do something with your lanes here. You can see you've got a bit of a problem. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six lanes coming in. 
Uh, you've got six lanes going into this road here, three-lane highway, and into this one here, which is also a three-lane highway. But then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, plus another three coming into this section here, which is causing some slowdown. And then, of course, they're slowing down for the toll road, and they're all taking this road on the outside. Why is that? Where are they going? Let's follow these guys along. And as they come along here, they start to spread out. Ah, here we go. And they're all coming over into one junction over there. Okay. I wouldn't necessarily have that toll road there. I would, in fact, move that to down over here. There we go. So that's going to help things move a lot smoother over here. They're not slowing down, as you can see. Uh, you do have this problem here, though, where they're all trying to get into the same lane. So if we just use our lane connector here... And, I mean, what I would try and do, I mean, I wouldn't have all of these lanes all trying to go into the same thing. But this road isn't that busy. So, I'm just wondering here whether we could just change this slightly to try and help. Just to get some, get less lanes here. So, we've got six. We've got one coming off. We could drop this one down. So, let's grab a smaller piece of highway four five yeah that would work quite well so let's take the five and upgrade that so you've got one lane coming off the other five go on so now you've only got five six seven eight yeah i would perhaps then drop this one down to a, a three or a four that's a four lane let's take a three lane that should be okay. It's not too busy. And then you've got three lanes and three lanes going into a six lane. So that should not be too bad. So if we just get all of these guys going up to the top here. There we go. And then we'll get these ones here going into these. Excellent. There we go. And then if we run that for a little bit, that should start solving this little issue we've got here there we go and just taking a look at this little area here we can see now with the toll road down there i know you're not getting tolls from everybody coming along everywhere but i mean you could move that toll road to up here have them over here instead but this is all nicely moving along maybe not the way that you would solve this problem but yeah everybody's moving along nicely Okay, so taking a look at your metro, it is pretty big and pretty sprawling. It goes everywhere. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of your metro lines and I'm going to set them up in a different way and see if we can still service everybody, but see how that goes. Um, so this is what it looks like at the moment. These are all the passions we've got. We've got lots of vehicles on the different lines. I mean, something also worth checking is like for instance here you've got 24 vehicles 777 passengers if we just scroll through and have a look you've got lots here that are not even a half or a third used so you could decrease the amount of vehicles on these lines by quite a lot actually which i think would be worth doing first before i delete all the lines so i'm going to go through all of these and we're going to see if we can decrease decrease the amount but still keep all the people happy so you want to make sure, for instance, here, you've got 97 people waiting, 100 people waiting. But that next one there is empty enough that it could take all of those. So that wouldn't be an issue. And um, what about anywhere further down? Yeah, so let me do that and let's just see how that helps. Also, looking through your last metro line here, it is such a long line and the stops are so far apart that it's taking ages for the metro to get from one end to the other. So definitely having short stops. I tend to think of Metro like in the London Underground where you jump on a Metro and you're sort of going three or four stops and you get off again and it sort of saves you getting a taxi or walking or, you know, going round in a short area. Whereas I think this line here stretches so far across the city. Lots of people are waiting. What you can also do is looking at the line before, your line number five, where you've was it this one here i think where you've got stops like this where you've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people waiting it's just take a step back and say right we've got so many people waiting here what else could we do they obviously want to take public transportation they're not taking their car maybe it's some of these things you've got the science center you've got the eiffel tower which is great people are coming to visit these things what have you got there grand central terminal 
But what other options could we add to help people get around? You've got the space elevator. That brings an absolutely ton of tourists. What other options could we have to have people come and visit here? And, you know, somewhere like this, we've got a big open area. You could add in maybe a train network to get from one end of the city to the other. To hook up perhaps with your... Uh, you've got down here, you've got your harbour. So lots of people are coming in there. That sort of thing would be uh, very handy. So this is another example. You've got this stop here with 730 odd people waiting. So that's this one here. So again, take a look. See where it is. So you've got the Silverwood uh, Casino. Obviously a lot of people visiting. You've got a park. You've got some other nice big buildings around here as well. Looking very good. So lots of people are wanting to come down here. Again, you've got a nice big open space. So you could connect that to a train network as well. Right, and one of the other things you did ask was about running a passenger train service somehow in the city. So I've just put one in just to sort of give you a rough idea. Um, if you pick somewhere where you're getting a lot of people coming into your city. So for instance, the harbour, you're going to get a lot of passengers coming in each week. You've got a lot of people visiting in the marina bay resort so i just put this little train station here just pick somewhere where your junction isn't going to be too near other junctions just run a road straight off like that add a train station in you can also try and encourage more people to walk to and use the train station uh, by adding paths there we go so for instance here you could just run a path straight up you'd have to get rid let's do it over a little bit here it's going to end up destroying one of your houses. In fact, look, you haven't got any houses here. So how about, let's just turn off this one here, road guidelines. We could run a path from there, and it could actually go up and over this train station, uh, that train line there. And back down again. There we go. Just a very quick and dirty one to help people from this side get over to using that. And this train line here, it runs from this station here uh, underground because you've obviously got a lot of your roads in place already. And then it comes back above ground here. So another nice slot in the middle. Maybe people will walk over to the Colossal Park. It's not too far away. They can get through there. You could put taxis here as well. But you've got your Grand Mall next to it. You've got your service and services. You've got your Chirpex launch site. A lot of things going on in this area. Uh, then it goes underground again. Uh, let's get underground. Can you show me underground? If I do that. There we go goes underground it goes straight up here curves around and has another stop over here so i just picked like a central point in the city this is where one of your very busy metros were right by your eiffel tower again you could put paths across here to help people walk to it quite quickly you want to try and do that as much as possible i think somebody here wants to get there they've got to walk all the way around which they probably will do or they're going to walk that way so yeah paths are always helpful and it carries on up here i put like a raised over the top of the houses and then through the wall that you've got going on here, up to your walled section at the top, and the little endpoint train station, and everybody was happy when I placed that down. So just to help these people to get about. And you could do a similar thing in other places. And don't forget, you do have the multi-platform train station. So you could plonk that down right in the middle of your city somewhere and have lots of lines and stations going out to the four corners of your little world that you've made here yeah there's a lot of work to do with your metro i think i'm going to save that for another episode if you would like me to and maybe we could focus uh, on that at one time but there there is a lot of good in this city i like the way you've built the city uh, your traffic is not too bad you've got lots of interconnecting roads lots of easy highway access which is good so yeah let me know what you think about what i've done would you like me to look at your city if so upload it to the steam workshop send me the link either in the comments below or you can grab me on twitter at biffer2001 and yeah it's, maybe it's parks maybe it's industry maybe it's something else in the game that you would like help with i would like to have a look at all sorts of different things not just traffic and yeah, if you enjoyed, hit the big B with the tea stain to subscribe. Leave a like as well. And it's my first time doing this. So hopefully I'll come across in a nice way. Uh, I have enjoyed looking at your city. And uh, I'm hoping to do some more of these in the future. So let me know what you think. And I will see you very soon. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.